Hi there, my name is Jason DeWild and I'm the Head of Audio at the Australian Institute of Music and welcome to another micro lecture. Now today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, miking up a drum kit. Um, in the traditional sense of the rock drum kit, um, we normally in the, in the studio will put up to 12 different microphones right around the kit to capture extra, to capture all the elements of the kit. So we might put a microphone in front of the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, the cymbals, etc, etc. Now that takes a lot of time to set up. So today I'm going to show you a way of miking up a drum kit with just a single microphone. And believe me, you'll be very surprised at the results. Let's go take a look. Okay, so we're going to um, show you just a little bit about um, a really simple way of uh, miking a drum kit. It's just the time when you need um, if you need to really mic a kit in a hurry, most people what they do with the rock kit is they put you know, separate mics on the kick drum, the snare drum, the toms, etc, etc. But I'm going to show you a way today as to how to put one single mic to record the kit. It's called the Chad Blake method, named after a, a producer called Chad Blake. Um, and what he's devised is being able to, to just use the uh, single mic. And this is where we put it. So if we zoom in here. Okay. What I've done is placed a single microphone. This is a large diaphragm um, condenser. Um, it's set to cardioid pattern. And the cardioid mic is pointing straight at the snare drum, but it's positioned over the kick. Now, because the cardioid pattern is only picking up pretty much a straight line, it does pretty much just focus in on the snare. But what will happen is because that there is enough spill from other parts of the kit, we'll end up picking up a little bit of the kick, a little bit of the cymbals, the hi-hat, everything just gets really well balanced. So I've just thrown the mic in that one single spot. I've just put it on cardioid. You can pretty much use any large diaphragm condenser, but I've chosen the Rode K2 uh, for now. But any large diaphragm condenser will do, and we'll find that this is going to pick a beautiful balance between the kick, the snare, the hats, and the cymbals as well as the toms. It's a great all-round technique. It's great for if you're in a hurry. Let's go have a listen to how it sounds. So you can see with one microphone placed in the correct position near the drum kit, you've got a beautiful balance between the kick drum, the snare drum, the hi-hat, the toms and the cymbals to create a single microphone point with a great recording at the end of that. The great thing about that is if you're actually rushed for time, it's a really quick way to set up a well-balanced kit with one microphone. Hope you enjoyed that one. It's certainly a technique that I use lots and lots, and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time around.